Okay, we're rolling. See us, Dark Strats up. This video is about some of the ethical or eco-friendly things that we do around the house, Tomosh and I. I'm sure you do eco things of your own, so if anything isn't included, please let me know below or let others know below because I'm always like interested in doing more environmentally friendly things. This video is brought to you by Ana Luisa. I'm really happy to be working with them again. The reason I really, really like Ana Luisa is not just because, you know, obviously they have really nice jewelry. It's also because they're carbon neutral, which is something that's really important to me. Carbon neutral means that they offset 100% of their emissions. It's not just that they offset them with the materials that they're using or with the packaging that they send out to you. They do it every single step of the way. From the materials that they get, the diamonds that they use for example are made they're not mined so no blood diamond their solid gold pieces are made from 100% recycled gold and they only use 100% recycled silver as well all of their stuff that they do in the office um, is also eco-friendly so they like recycle like I said when they send it out to you it comes in 100% recycled paper and they also encourage you to continue the cycle another thing that's really good about them is not just that they're carbon neutral but they're actually aiming to be completely carbon free in the future in case you have only like landed on this planet yesterday the reason it's important to be environmental is because the planet is dying and we can do lots of things to help it today i'm wearing the duo ball ring which is 88 dollars i like how it doesn't join there so it kind of looks randomly like it's like two balls and the other day i was like look it's like it defies gravity also I like that i can see my face in it and i also like that it's punch friendly so you can still punch someone in the face with it <laughs> I'm also wearing the mini Kanoko marble blue earrings. These are $70. I think they're pretty unique looking and I really like the color. And you can't see this obviously, but they, they just feel really good quality. Like they're heavy and the backs of them don't just like slip off. I've lost so many earrings where the back just falls off, but these I can tell are gonna stay forever. The last ones that I wanna show you today are the turquoise hoop earrings called Tiffany. It's a star and a moon and I really like the stars and the moon. They've got turquoise in them which is one of my favorite stones also I don't know if this is intentional but you can take these off and then you've got like just a gold hoop so it's a two for one earring more things about Ana Luisa the environmental stuff aside they don't have any luxury markup prices often with jewelry or fashion brands you buy something because it has the name and that means that they can put like a really high price tag on Ana Luisa they have quality stuff that's affordable so some of their stuff starts at like $39 which is nice for like a nice ring or whatever last but not least Ana Luisa is currently running an exclusive Black Friday sale and you can get the limited offers here in the description below. Obviously one of the things you can do for the environment just by sitting at home is buy from people like Ana Luisa who are committed to the environment. But there are other things you can do around the home. Around the home. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we do. First of all, this is all our compostable foods. I know that some of you might live in places where you can just compost. You know, you have a compost in the garden or your council collects the compost, but our council doesn't collect the compost and we don't have a compost. What we do is we collect the compost and we were lucky to find um, a community garden where they compost. Mm -hmm. I've been places where you can't do that either. There I would do like gorilla composting which is where you just cut it all up quite small and then you just put it around random trees or plants that you find in the city. And I think that's so much better than just putting it in the trash. This could feed a pigeon or a rat or a tree. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can do which is really good for the environment is to go vegan. <laughs> There are no animal products in this fridge. They do say that going vegan is one of the best things you can do for the planet and also for the animals. Another thing that we do is we try to be zero waste. We don't really buy coke, but that's the first thing that came into my mind. If there's like a bottle of coke or a tin of coke, we would buy the tin of coke because it's easier to recycle that than it is to recycle plastic. Sometimes at the green grocers, you can't help it, they give you these plastic bags. We take it home and we wash it and we take it back every time so that that way at least it wasn't used once. So we reuse the plastic. Also this, so like this for example, we bought rice in a bag. This is not plastic. It's got a little zipper which is made of plastic. <laughs> if rice has run out, we'll take this bag to a, a zero waste shop and fill it up again. There are several zero waste shops in Budapest. 
So another thing we try and do is we carry like four or so of these, which is just a random tote bag. Even if we're not gonna go shopping, we still carry them anyway because invariably we end up shopping. The irrelevant objects could become powerful emotional symbols of how you wanted to be seen by others. Eddie Bernays saw the way to sell product was not to sell it to your intellect, but that you will feel better about it if you have this automobile. I think he originated that idea that they weren't just purchasing something, but they were engaging themselves emotionally or personally in, in, in the product or service. What Bernays was doing fascinated America's corporations. They had come out of the war rich and powerful, but they had a growing worry. The system of mass production had flourished during the war, and now millions of goods were pouring off production lines. What they were frightened of was the danger of overproduction, that there would come a point when people had enough goods and would simply stop buying. We'll obviously turn off all these lights, but we're having them on right now because it's better for the video. Another thing that we do, and this might sound kind of like weird to you, we collect all of our shower or bath water and then we use it to flush the toilet because, you know, it's just a way to save water. And <laughs> when my sister came to visit, she was like, oh my God, you're so poor, you can't even flush a toilet. And it's like, no, it's the environment. We're doing it for the environment. This probably won't save you any money, but I was easy like that. I always find it really weird that we flush our waste with clean water. On a similar note, we also use a bowl in the sink so that we're not filling up more than we need when we wash up. You can also use it to flush the toilet. Another thing you can do from the comfort of your own home is to just do some research. Watch documentaries like Before the Flood, David Attenborough's new one, Planet of the Humans made me think a lot. He had a really good point there. I think he pointed out the relationship between so-called green and clean industries and capitalism, how uh, they're branding a lot of stuff green where it's not really green and not really sustainable. It's worth a watch. Even if not all the data is, is legit there, it's definitely worth a watch. Yeah, I think it's worth watching all of these to kind of give you a push to become more environmentally friendly. Additionally, you can use the internet to look up ways. Oh, how do I recycle this? Or how do I live without this? There's almost certainly someone out there who's already living without it or has an alternative or is recycling it. I would also say that the first thing to do is to just refuse things. So really think about, do I really need to buy this? Or could I just not buy it? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please tell me what you do that's eco-friendly around the house or even outside the house if you're not in quarantine. Thank you to Anna Luisa as well for bringing us this video. They're currently running a Black Friday sale, so be sure to check all of that out. Yeah, have a nice day.